Hello guys and welcome to this video. Um, so I'm kind of switching uh, from theme, but okay. So in this video, um, I'm going to show you how to create a kind of web application uh, that you can upload to your web server and well do all kinds of cool stuff with it. So um, it's um, well if you are using uh, Visual Studio as I do. Uh, this wouldn't be very super uh, yeah it is not actually working um, well it works but you only have the code so there is no designer so I, I have Visual Basic 2008 on, uh, still on my computer installed and it uh, this uh, version lets you design things in the designer so it's kind of stupid but okay so I'm just going to open that up. It's by the way a WPF browser application. It's very important. Um, so now the compiler is doing uh, any kind of uh, doing stuff, loading and stuff. So what you want to do is close the stop page. I don't know, but I'm always annoyed by that one. So here we have this uh, form thingy, so you can make it larger and and stuff. Um, so, when you go to toolbox, you see uh, some common controls, but also some not common controls. I know it's kind of stupid, but okay. So, um, we have like uh, images, uh, very uh, uh, well different from Visual Basic. Uh, media element, it's not. I thought in Visual Basic. Well, this is Visual Basic too, but I mean this is a WPF application so uh, you have a status bar tab control text block I don't know what it is text boxes the same toolbar and well oh well you cannot see that sorry <laughs> um, so I uh, have all the kind of uh, common controls actually um, so I'm going to drag up a button or something so you see it's also different different. So see button and when you look down here you have XAML or XAML and you see when I select the button this is highlighted. So you have like um it's kind of uh, HTML because when you see there uh, like here uh well here is a tag beginning, sorry. Here is a tag beginning. And then here is going to end the tag, so close the tag actually. Then some content. And then it will close the tag again with a forward slash button. So when we change this one inside, it's going to change the caption of the button actually. So I'm just going to change that here. Uh, if, if I can. Um, let's uh, do this help or something help. See it's changing right away with how to property panel. This can also be done through the proper property panel. See or see content help. So and um, I think it's pretty cool uh, but see it's kind of blurring when I scroll up and down. Well it's kind of cool actually. So you have there all kinds of settings, effects, value. Ah, oh, well, <laughs> never mind actually. Um, so yeah, uh, you can add all uh, kinds of stuff. Let's do a text box, and then add a button again. <laughs> button with the content. Of warning or warn, let's do warn. Okay, so when I double click it, it will bring me to the code. So it's actually pretty the same. So, what I want to do when I press warn, it will message out the text there. So, I'm going to check if that one is empty. Let's see how this one is called text box one. So, just text one. So, if text box one dot text. text equals to nothing then um, 
or well let's remove and if it will cause an error actually but when you type something in uh, behind behind the sub it's just going to remove the error so if textbox one dot text equals nothing then message box um from this object so the text no input found comma going to be critical title is going to be uh, error e -R -R -O -R. Uh, well like that so see now the error removes uh well it's disappeared so I'm sorry um but okay um so if it's that um well well let's just put an enter because um yeah else you cannot use actually the kind of else statement so else is going to do message box text box one dot text pretty basic actually and then warning let's do exclamation because it is kind of um exclamation close it of course with a bracket and press the play button and it will open up in your default browser or web browser Uh, so see here we have my web browser called Firefox. <laughs> ah well I think you know that. So warn let's put in one so yeah, no input found so hello <laughs> man. Well I'm sorry, let's do that again. Well now you have this kind of black page when you close it, but okay. Oh man. So let's wait. Man, I don't know, but it's going to be pretty crazy whenever I stop this one up. So let's try it out again. Otherwise, there is going to be some kind of freaking error. It's going to be annoying. Annoying. Yeah, see, it's uh. Ah uh, well, uh, I don't think there is any kind of error. So let's, yeah. Well, I don't actually, I actually don't know what's wrong or something, but I think the compiler did something wrong. Um, so I think, uh, I don't hope, uh, don't think this is going to be your problem. But anyway, uh, this is actually how to do that. Um, how to create a kind of web application. It's pretty cool, actually. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Uh, feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, or email me. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching this video again. Um, if you have some money over, by the way, uh, you can donate it to me to my email address so, or uh, g and b j b and k at gmail dot com or to say that easier my youtube account name and then at gmail dot com so thanks for watching again again and I'll catch you later.